Now let's talk, Pete, about Vaxite. Now, as the name implies, Vaxite is a uh, experimental pneumococcal uh, vaccine. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that they have this thing called Vax31 that is a trial that they've been going through and its profile is very similar to Pfizer, Pete, without the same billions that Pfizer can throw at multiple vaccines and so forth. These guys have been doing pretty well. And you know what? We also had unusual activity. So mm. take a look at this one, folks. October Oops. 90 calls. They were buying those with the stock basically 76 bucks. Whereas the stock today, about 116. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> so those calls up huge. If you had any of those calls, folks, like some of our subscribers did, mm -hmm. bang. It's a very good day for you. And it's why we do what we do, John. We talked about we used to stand on the trading floors. And when the flood of activity comes in like that, uh, it can be very, very fruitful. And in this case, it was. And you take a look at what these guys are looking at here, John. Part of the reason this stock is up as much as 30 percent, by the way, is the fact that they're talking about this is a basically a 10 billion dollar market value right now in what they're doing. And they're going up against the big boys. And from the numbers that they got, they seem to be extremely excited about this, like they're going to take over the big boys, including Pfizer, in this particular space. Now, that's pretty cool. How about the fact that they think in the future, very close future, this could be a $24 billion marketplace. So I'd say Vaxite is in the right spot. Now, let's always remember this one thing, though. They don't have anything out on the market yet. They had great numbers. This is go going, into going into phase three, right? So... That's something that looks like it's going to be probably a layup based upon all these great numbers. It still has to go through the process, though. So there could be a stumble. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't doesn't mean it absolutely does. But it is something interesting. And by the way, they do have a fairly deep pipeline, not huge, but they've got another that's not far away from going towards that phase three and a few others out there that are preclinical or phase one. So we've got that, you know, in the backdrop. But this is a major number, John, and the volumes, the absolute volume of shares that was trading in the first, call it 90 minutes, absolutely dwarfs the average day for all the right reasons. When a stock goes up 30%, that's got a market cap and something north of 20 billion, I'd say that was uh, that's a pretty big move.